Hey, CW Apes, this is Mr. Kennedy again. Got another lab for you here today. This one is titled Mapping Earthquakes and Volcanoes. This handout can be found on our class webpage in Unit 2. Make sure you're clicking on the one that says Mapping Earthquakes and Volcanoes. Document there is a PDF, so again, you can use your PDF editors that I've provided for you uh, to actually write on the document uh, digitally, uh, online, on your computer, or if you'd rather print it out on, in hard copy, you can do that too, but don't print the whole document, uh, only the part that you're going to turn in at the end, which I'll show you, okay? Um, once the document is completed, remember all of this is going to go in your digital notebook uh, and to be turned in at the end of the unit. So let me just start by saying, hey, let's make sure we read the instructions on this one. Um, there's a lot to take in when it comes to the background information and what this is all about. Um, we're going to use longitude and latitude data this time, not um, time distances or S and P wave uh, data like we did in a previous experiment. So longitude and latitude data. Uh, to actually create a map of earthquakes and volcanoes. So if you're not familiar with longitude and latitude, that's where we got to start. Like what's the difference between longitude and latitude? So if I'm standing, um, I don't know, um, on the earth somewhere, uh, longitude, longitude data are numbers that go up and down with reference to your position on the planet, basically pole to pole, and latitude side to side. Okay, that's going to be important as you're reading the graph, or I should say map, that I'm going to provide you with through this um, exercise. All right, so let's turn a couple pages and see what we got. Um, you've got some simple instructions here. You don't have to worry about scissors, tape, and all this kind of stuff. Just go down to this section here where we're talking about procedures and make sure you read through the steps. Okay, again, don't worry about cutting stuff out. All right, not worried about cutting stuff out. The only thing that I'm really, really worried about you doing is taking your volcano and earthquake data and marking it on the map that is provided from this exercise, okay? So don't worry about this cut and paste piece right here. Don't have to cut and paste anything out. Just go to this section where you now have to locate that's right, look at that number, 45 earthquakes um, from the list on the physiographic chart. Now, there's also an additional 45 volcanoes, um, but I'm not going to make you map out the volcanoes too, all right? Just the earthquake data, all right, just to give you a little bit less work to do. Now, the last two pages I'm going to show you, this page has your volcano and your earthquake data on it. Very important, you need to look in the corner and make sure you're looking at the correct data. This side says volcano data, and if you look at the columns, they all say volcano. If you flip it over, that's where the earthquake data is. Now, because you're getting a document that's a PDF, you won't be able to flip it over, but make sure you're looking at the right page, the one that says earthquake data. As you go across, there's earthquake magnitude, the date of the earthquake, and then here's our longitude and latitude information. If it has a north-south direction on it versus an east-west direction on it, that should tell you, are you looking at longitude or latitude? Remember, longitude, longitude are lines that go up and down. Latitude goes side to side. I'll let you figure out the rest. Now, you've also got a map. Okay, that looks like this. This is a map of the earth, but spread out flat. Your longitude and latitude numbers are found along the edge, and you need to pay very careful and very close attention to where your zeros are on the map. For example, there's a zero right here that if we follow all the way through the center of the map to a zero on the other side, you should be able to guess what that zero represents. <clears throat> the equator, okay? So you can go north and south from the equator using the appropriate data from the previous table. 
All right, the other zero is a little bit harder to find. It's down here on the bottom and you have to hunt for it a little bit, okay? If you go across the bottom, 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 the other zero is way over here, okay? Why is there a zero way over here? Well, there's this lovely little thing on our planet called the International Dateline, right? Um, that kind of like marks where that zero is, okay? Where like, I guess today becomes tomorrow or, you know, yesterday um, becomes today, okay? So you got to keep that in mind when you're going through like, you know, the other lines of data, almost gave away an answer there, um, as you're making your maps. So using your longitude and latitude, you're going to go to those different locations on your map. You're going to make circles. You're going to make dots. Remember, you can use a PDF editor to make a dot, right? Um, so you can write right on this. Um, or you can print it out, and if you print it out, like, you know, you can use a pen, all right? Then take a picture of it, put it in your um, notebook, and submit that. Once all of that's done, there are some post-lab questions that come with this activity. Don't forget to answer the questions at the end. Okay, CW Apes, that's your Mapping Earthquakes and Volcano handout. I'll see you next time.